All right, I got a, uh, I think it's a 24 inch uh, armature from uh, True Form of a human. It's a non bakeable armature. I, they do have bakeable armatures, by the way. And you might want to go on to their website, which will have a link in the description below the video here. The popcorn into, well, let me see if I can get this out without having to do that. Oh, yeah, cool. All right. And here's the rest of the armature here. This is the support for the figure itself. All right, I'm going to take my exacto knife and cut away the tape. I do pick, pack these up really nicely. I start with the head and work down. So this is the uh, 24 inch figure. This one is the 18 inch uh, figure. Now I used one of these 24 inch uh, fig, uh, armatures. The uh, areas like this and this are urethane foam. Uh, these are cast in resin plastic or uh, resin, yeah, resin plastic. Um, they don't have a wire going all the way through them. This is just resin plastic with a little uh, hole for the uh, wire to go into so you can take the arms off and uh, stuff like that. So when you bend these, you do not want to bend them down here or there because you will break the uh, arm and um, where uh, the wire isn't. So you take and hold it at the joint and you bend it where you want to that way you're putting the pressure on the wire at the joint, not the pressure on the urethane plastic arm. Um, all this uh, white, bright white stuff is, is uh, resin plastic. And uh, so it's, it's tough stuff. I mean, it's, it's hard to cut. Uh, if you, uh, like I do Native Americans all the time, and uh, these cheekbones don't match uh, Native American uh, structure. So uh, because it is urethane foam, I can carve away the cheeks and put my own cheekbones in. Uh, other than that, the uh, skull is right on the button. And uh, you can also lengthen the torso if you want to or shorten it by just pre pulling up and down on that. You can actually take the upper torso off if you want to. Uh, also the head comes off and if you got uh, aluminum wire of the same thickness as this or, or uh, gauge as this wire you can actually build a kind of like a jig and sculpt your head separate from the body so that you get an accurate uh, sculpture. Um, the lower part of the, from the uh, shin down uh, is removable. I don't think the upper part is. I've never actually taken one of these apart there. And I've never really taken one apart down there either. Same rule of thumb here. There's no wire going through this uh, uh, resin. Uh, so you need to keep from breaking it. You, you hold the, the joint and uh, same here. You hold the hip and then put the leg where you want it and stuff like that. The foot comes out, uh, the foot armature, down here and uh, so you can work on the foot separately or the lower legs separately if you feel like it. Now that I've explained all that, what's really cool is, is it's got the hips. I mean let me tell you when you're starting to sculpt a figure the hardest thing to sculpt is the hip area and this has already worked out for you here. Now, these had wing nuts on them but people were having trouble uh, tightening them up. Um, I didn't see a problem with it but a lot of people have never handled these type of armatures before, uh, what we uh, lovingly call amateurs, <laughs> first timers on these things, um, were complaining because uh, their sculptures wouldn't stay in place and they would tend to move sideways uh, and all they had to do was just uh, tap the wing nut until it was fully tightened. But uh, 
a lot of them didn't do that. But anyway, um, I've just put the uh, main bar. This is the support for the uh, body of the uh, figure here. But I put the main uh, support in there, and I'm going to tighten this down. I've got a uh, spanner uh, pair of pliers, and I'm just going to tighten up the, the bolt. Don't want to do it too much because it'll hold just fine. This is a locking nut right there. Now you take this and put it through this, this part here. Now you're going to have to more than likely seat it a little bit further in so that you can put this in through there. And this has a bolt here that you put here. Now, um, if you have trouble with uh, any of these things not locking, uh, I would suggest getting a, a lock nut, a lock washer, uh, and just putting it uh, in between the bolt and the uh, black metal uh, armature uh, constructed thing here. Now, what I'm going to do is tighten this for now, like that, and. Like that, and this support goes right here. Uh, what you got is a <coughs> you got a double wire uh, aluminum wire backbone, and there's a slot cut into this bolt, uh, this uh, uh, rod here, this metal rod, and you just slip that in there. And as you can see, I'm off a little bit, so I'm going to have to loosen up that back nut. But anyway, then you put the front nut onto the rod and you tighten it down. You can do this just with your fingers. And uh, now I'm just going to loosen this and then re-tighten it, holding it in place. All right, that's all there is to it. Uh, you've got it all mounted. You can uh, now position him any way you want to or her. Um, you can lower this or raise it. Uh, you can have uh, the figure uh, down low to the ground or up high, depending on, on uh, what kind of base you're going to be doing on this. Um, if you find that you need to have this on a different board, you can just unscrew the screws that are holding this plate onto this board and put it on a bigger board if you need to. Uh, nobody says that you have to use this board, it's just supplied with the uh, figure. Then you can just uh, take hold of your arm, move it and bend it any way you want to. Uh, always holding on to the uh, the uh, joint, don't ever put pressure on the center area because you'll break it. And if you do break it, I mean, I've done it. Uh, if you do break it, uh, you can have them ship you a new arm uh, section uh, for a nominal fee, of course, because you've got to pay for your uh, mistakes. <laughs> and uh, say I'm not having him ride a horse, I can spread his legs out. I can bend his legs back and forth for walking, uh, bend it at the joints, and stuff like that. So you can literally do anything you want to with these figures, and everything is anatomically correct. Say, for instance, uh, he's putting all the weight on this leg. You need to uh, lower the hip on that side and drop the hip on this side. I mean, raise the hip on this side and lower the hip on that side. And then you'd also have to uh, adjust the uh, shoulders so that uh, one shoulder drops while the other shoulder raises and then to uh, also change the head position. But you can see the possibilities of, uh, of making movement and stuff like that so much easier with uh, this. Now uh, for this to work right you have to loosen your armature a little bit and just you know, center of gravity needs to be uh, straight underneath the collarbone, 
to the instep of the foot. That's the center of gravity. And once you have that established, then you just tighten up the uh, armature and the, the rod in the back, and everything should work just fine. So as you can see, the uh, uh, eight, uh, 24 inch uh, figure is standing next to the uh, 36 inch uh, armature. Same system, exactly handled the same way. Um, and these are figures that I've made. Now the 24 inch figure there is the same size armature that I used in Sweetgrass. And the 18 inch armature, which you see right there, is the same size that I used in uh, Dissonant Bugles. Just to show you some examples of how you can use these armatures. And you can see the armature system in the back. Now these had the wing nuts on them, which were fine. I just had to tap them real hard until they tightened up. So you got these uh, type of armatures with a wing nut. Uh, you just take a, a small hammer or or some kind of hammer and uh, just uh, tap it until it tightens it uh, well enough that it doesn't move. All right, uh, that's going to be it uh, for today. Um, I just wanted to give you some information on how to uh, use these uh, true form armatures. They're, they're an amazing tool and uh, if you haven't used one yet, you really ought to buy one. I mean, they'll tell you what's your time worth. <laughs> if it takes you three or four days to make an armature or, or five years to learn how to make a, a good armature and proportional armature as, as well. I mean that's the real hard part is getting all the proportions just right and these proportions are perfect. Um, it, you know it's it's worth getting an armature right from the start that uh, you don't have to worry about. Alright uh, I'm going to set this aside and uh, that will be it for today. <laughs>